they've got a hamburger farm. This is weird. Okay, I think that aliens might love hamburgers. Hello, my pals, this is Holly, and I am in Dennis's bedroom. I should probably get out of here before he actually notices that I have come into his house. He's streaming anyway, so I'm sure he won't even notice. While Dennis is on the live stream, I should probably take the opportunity to explore his house because I have never been inside of another YouTuber's house before. This is kind of exciting. Oh, who's that? Okay, there's a weird man in Dennis's house. Maybe it's one of the movers. It looks like he's moving house. Breaking news. Aliens from the moon are stealing snow from Earth, ending winter as we know it. Aliens are stealing snow? There's not going to be any more winter? Okay, this is not good. We've already got a climate change crisis. We do not need this. This is ridiculous. We're going to have to negotiate with those aliens and save winter. We have to save winter. Agree. There should be a cave nearby with a rocket. A cave nearby with a rocket, you say? And what are we going to do with this rocket? Oh my gosh, are we going to try to shoot down the UFO? Is there any chance we could just try to talk to the aliens first? Because I feel like if we just go in straight with the rocket, we are kind of cutting off more options. Oh my gosh, there's bear traps. Why would there be bear traps on the... Okay, I see why. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest bear I have ever seen. I love that they're roasting little marshmallows. Okay, watch out for these traps, little bear. I don't want you to catch one of your cute little feeties. I wonder where that bear got those marshmallows. Oh, <laughs> I think I might have found the culprit. You left your food out and now the bear is eating marshmallows. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think that you've been very bear aware. But let's be real, you don't need to listen to lectures from me, and I'm on a mission to save winter from aliens. So I'm actually a little bit busy, and I need to cross this recently frozen lake. You see, before the aliens came, this lake was frozen solid. But now that winter is disappearing, possibly forever, the lake is not frozen anymore, and we have to use these to jump across. <gasps> What's this? Those aliens are stealing all the snow! Oh no! We gotta hurry and find that cave. All right, everybody, you heard scared Dennis. We need to find that cave. And I think the way to find it is to jump on top of these mushrooms. Did you know these red and white spotty mushrooms are a real mushroom that you can see out in the world? They are called Amanita muscaria or a fly agaric. Can you tell that I love mushrooms? Anyway, can't be getting distracted by the kingdom of fungi. I need to make sure that I'm focusing on finding this cave. Oh my gosh, look at how much the ice has melted. This is a serious disaster and we need to make sure that we... Oh my gosh, what is that? Someone dancing with no pants on. Okay, and okay, and a weird face. A weird face in the snow. What is going on here? Okay, this seems to... Oh my gosh, <gasps> giant snowballs. Ooh, where am I? Oh, ow! <laughs> I got crushed by a giant snowball. Okay, but that was kind of cool. I wonder if there's something down there that I want to find. I'm just going to make sure that I don't... <gasps> Hello? What are you doing in here? Oh, watch out! <laughs> okay, we need to try to not get hit by these giant snowballs. This is kind of fun. Oh, no, there comes one! Oh, my gosh, I think I made it to the top. Yes! Where do we go now? <gasps> What is this place? This is so strange. Oh, maybe this is where the aliens are. <gasps> oh no, oh no, I gotta be careful. That could be a tractor beam. Gotta get to that cave without getting abducted. All right, we can do this. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I just slid down an entire mountain on my face. <laughs> I would probably have the most, <gasps> oh, oops. I've probably got like snow burn on my face when I keep falling into this river. Okay, third time lucky. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh my gosh, is this a cave? Dennis, I think we found the cave. Is this it? Okay. Dennis, is this a cave? Tell me all about it. We're almost there. Keep going and Sketch will meet you inside. Okay, amazing. Sketch, I'm coming, buddy. We can figure out that rocket together. Oh my gosh, what is this? <gasps> Um, okay, are those aliens? I think I've discovered aliens. Oh, this is real weird. Something strange is happening in this cave. I feel weird. Um, so I don't think that sketch was actually in that cave. Dennis, um, should I be going a different direction? Yeah, maybe I should be going this way. Um, okay, so Dennis, don't go in that cave. There's some sort of alien activity happening in there. Extra terrestrial activity. Um, I don't recommend. Okay, let's see. If we can find another cave, a cave with a rocket. This is kind of a cool ride. But which way to go next? Oh my gosh, which way to go next? Oh, oh my gosh, look at the penguins. <laughs> All right, maybe I need to try to jump on. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try going this way. Just got to watch out for penguins. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh my gosh. What if there's another penguin? <laughs> oh my gosh.
Why should there be these cutie penguins? And they've got a big pile of fish. Well done, everyone. Whoa, just kidding. That is the biggest fish I've ever seen. It's like a fish elevator. And oh my gosh, there seem to be some people stuck in ice cubes. Um, who did this? Was this was this the aliens that did this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, we've got to save them. All right, I'm just going to ride this fish. I think it's a salmon. We're on a salmon elevator and oh my gosh, there's a Canadian flag over there. That's weird. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense because Dennis is Canadian. I too am Canadian, which is why I am familiar with how to use the salmon elevator. And oh my gosh, I'm in a luge. <laughs> I'm lugeing face down. I'm just scraping my face along the, ouch. Okay, that was a bit hurty in terms of my first luge experience. I don't think I loved it, but that's fine. <gasps> oh my gosh, maybe this is the cave. Okay, that's creepy. Caves full of bats. Oh look, it's Sketch. They're like, it's me, Sketch. Time to go caving so we can find that rocket. All right, so Sketch, nobody has actually filled me in on the uh, rocket plan. Um, are we just going to straight up be firing rockets at UFOs? Because if that's the plan, I've got some thoughts on it. I think that maybe we should open up a dialogue first. Oh no, what happened to my rock? Hmm, oh, there they are. There must be tides in this cave. That's pretty unusual. I've never seen a cave with a tide system, but I guess these are unusual times. I do have some questions though about how this rocket actually ended up in the cave. Like what kind of cave is this? So far I've seen some pickaxes and oh my gosh, look giant pink crystals. It's like there's a lot going on in here and oh, oh, oh my gosh, I just caused an explosion. Okay, love that for me. Okay, and now there is falling crystals and pickaxes. Where's the diamonds, says Sketch. Anyway, I think I see the rocket silo up ahead. You gotta be careful of those crystals. They are falling like stalactites from the ceiling. This is actually incredibly dangerous. Okay, just got to make it over here. And oh my gosh, these pickaxes are also really dangerous. This whole cave is a giant trap. But I'm on a mission to save winter, the entire human race, and indeed the future of the planet and all life on it. So, you know, I'm not gonna be put off by something a little scary. So strange, Sketch said that the rocket silo was somewhere really nearby, but I still haven't seen it. I guess, probably just need to get over this strange structure here. Oh my gosh, there's orange crystals and pink crystals and, okay, is this the rocket silo? Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, cool. So what now? Oh, we could all escape to space. We could like let the aliens have Earth. Let's be real, we've kind of trashed it already. And then we could just like head off for a new planet. Oh, wait a second. What is happening here? Board the rocket and you'll blast all the way to the moon. There, Alex will help you. <gasps> We're going to the moon? Already better put on my astronaut suit. Uh, you know what? Actually, my, my current clothes are, are actually astronaut clothes anyway. So, um, aboard the rocket, I guess. Goodbye, pantsless man. Goodbye. I'm going to the moon. Hey, look at me. I'm on the moon. And I gotta say, there's a lot more going on on the moon than I thought there would be. Wow, there's a lot of infrastructure here on the moon. Whoa, and the gravity's all weird. Okay, I think there's like, the gravity's less strong than it is on Earth, so every time I jump, it's like I kind of float around, which is pretty cool. Um, but what's going on? Welcome to the moon. We have to infiltrate the alien base and stop their plans. Oh my gosh, this is all aliens? They have built such a huge base on the moon. They must have been planning this invasion of Earth for a really long time. And oh my gosh, what do they even want with all that snow? <gasps> Maybe their home planet doesn't have enough fresh water. Okay, this is a dangerous situation. <gasps> Whoa, they've got a hamburger farm. This is weird. Okay, I think that aliens might love hamburgers. This could actually be an opening point of negotiation. Maybe we should talk to the aliens, tell them that we actually have on Earth heaps and heaps of hamburgers. And we might even be willing to share, you know, if they if they don't destroy the planet. Oh, careful, there's a hamburger farmer. Don't let them see us. Okay, yeah, don't let them see us. You gotta hide behind the hamburger bushes. A lot of people don't actually know that this is how hamburgers grow, but you'll learn something new every day. Wow, look at that hamburger on top of the pitchfork. That's a good hamburger farmer. How do I find my way out of this farm? Okay, we gotta go avoid the farmers, find our way out of the farm, and get to the base. Watch out, watch out, they're coming! Okay, we're good, they didn't see us. Maybe if I get a chance to talk to the aliens, I can bond with them about how I also like burgers. Find a little bit of common ground, you hear what I'm saying? All right, 
In the meantime, I probably do need to infiltrate their base. So let's see if we can find our way over to the base. Oh, gotta be careful here. Don't wanna fall in whatever this, Ooh. oh, purple. <laughs> Something is. It's not good for me. Whatever it is, this this moon lake. Has anyone actually thought about what we're gonna do once we get inside of the alien base? Because we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Like maybe there's the leader of the aliens and we'll be able to talk to them. Or maybe we're just gonna have to explode the whole place. I don't know. Oh, whoa, look at that. There's a car. They've got trucks on the moon. <laughs> what? Here's someone who might know something about it. We can get in via the power lines, but first you have to get past these oof worms. Oh no, not the oof worms. Oh my gosh, they're so oofy. And they're, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, no, no. I got gut, I got oofed. My head just rolling away slowly. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. It's hard because you don't know where they're gonna come out. They could come out of the ground like literally anywhere. Maybe I keep jumping, I can avoid, oh no, oh <laughs> no. They got me again. <laughs> All right, I think that the jumping was probably a good strategy. I just got a little bit unlucky. So I'm just gonna make my timing right. I don't like their mouths. They've got like really scary mouths. Okay, I'm just kind of keeping to the edge here. Hopefully, oh no, hopefully it's safe. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, we made it. <gasps> Up onto the power lines. Okay, apparently this is going to lead us to the alien base. And oh my gosh, that must be it there. Oh, it is huge. And we can see Earth in the background just glowing. Poor old Earth has no idea that it's about to lose winter forever. Or at least it will if I don't succeed in my mission. Wow, looks like there's alien guards guarding the door of the compound to stop people from coming in. But guess what? I am coming in from above and you'll never even know. Yeah, that's right. You'll never even know I'm here. Ooh, I wonder what kind of deliveries are getting dropped off here at the alien compound. That's a bit interesting. Oh, probably hamburgers. Gotta say, now that we're inside of the base, I don't actually know what our plan is here, but I'm just gonna follow this person because <laughs> they seem to know what they're doing. And oh, this is a bit strange. Thank goodness for this low gravity or I would never be able to make these jumps. Wait, are these snow making machines? This is so strange. Why do the aliens want snow so badly? Any thoughts? Possibly the aliens are hosting the Winter Olympics or possibly they've got a little bit of a water crisis. Oh, we're in. This is the final part where you have to stop their leader. Good luck. What, are you kidding me? Am I heading into a boss battle right now? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> like, why do they want this snow? Like, yes, I will go in there. I will try to stop the leader, but I mean, I've still got, I've still got a lot of questions. <laughs> Okay, into the cave. What is going to be happening in here? Oh, wow, look, I think we're in the delivery bay. This must be where they deliver all the hamburger crops. Okay, the alien leader's gotta be in here somewhere. We just need to get past this complicated system of, of very effective lasers. Oh, look, more hamburgers. We gotta follow the hamburgers. Maybe the hamburgers are leading to the leader. Okay, we just gotta be careful of these pipes because they seem quite dangerous. Gotta make sure my piggy backpack doesn't touch them. Ooh, looks like there's a room here. Maybe we can hop off. Okay, gonna follow this arrow. What does it say? This way if you hate mazes. I don't want to do a maze. <laughs> I'm so bad at mazes. I get like immediately confused. Um, hopefully this isn't the start of a maze and oh, nope, maybe not. Okay, this is a bit weird. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks so dangerous. How am I gonna do this? Okay. <laughs> oh. This is actually pretty good protection. I bet the leader's here. All right, leader, I'm ready to stop you. Oh, maybe I need to go up this elevator first. <laughs> All right, next stop, stopping the alien leader. Um, what the heckers? Are those souls getting sucked into a black hole? You know what, that's probably not my floor. Okay, here we go. This looks more like my floor. Alien leader, we love it. <gasps> Wait a second, self-destruct? If I press this button, there's gonna be a limited amount of time to survive. We'll have to hightail it out of here, hightail it off this moon, and back to Earth. But you know what? I think it's worth it. Oh, he angry, alien angry. Oh, the self-destruct has already begun. Look at that angry face. Quickly, through this hole in the wall. We have to get out of here quickly. I don't actually know how long the self-destruct um, sequence goes on for, but oh, look, a ship. We can get onto this one, maybe. Yes, back to Earth. 
Stopping the aliens, we heroes. Oh, whoa, did I just blow up the moon? Back on Earth and winter is here. The penguins are happy again. You're welcome, you're welcome. Might have to celebrate by gathering around this cozy little campfire. <gasps> the bear's here. Wow, Sir meows a lot here, everybody's here. Guess we can sit around the campfire and tell the old tale of when we saved winter from the aliens. It's a bit of a classic. Pass marshmallows. 